Bundanoon is just over 2,200 feet above sea level and is located in the southern highlands of New South Wales, halfway between Sydney and Canberra. The original inhabitants of this area were the Gundungurra people, and evidence of their presence has been found in tool sharpening grooves and cave paintings. Charles Throsby mentions Bundanoon in his journal under the date of the 29th of March 1818 when he and his party visited the locality. He records the name as Bantanoon. The country near Bundanoon was known in the 1830s to 1850s as the Barren Ground. As early as 1838, there was settlement on the road from Sutton Forest to Goulburn at Jumping Rock, so called because of the way coaches and buggies jumped from rock to rock when going down the hill nearby. Part of the original road is located near the intersection of Ferndale Road and the Old Argyle Road, and it is now a fire trail that enters the Penrose State Forest. Bundanoon could have been called Southlampton, Barren Ground, or even Jumping Rock, all local names from as early as 1838. But when the railway route to Goulburn was taken through Jordan's Crossing in 1868, this was the name that was used. It was changed to Bundanoon in 1881. The construction of the railway line was an important event in the history of the Winjicarabi district. A line was commenced out of Sydney in 1850 and it reached Picton in 1863. The section between Picton and Mittagong was completed in January 1867 and continued to Goulburn in May 1869. Bundanoon Station opened as Jordan's Crossing in 1869 and on April 2nd, 1881, the post office and station became known as Bundanoon. Early one Saturday morning, the quiet pre-dawn of Bundanoon was shattered. It was the 19th of November, 1955, and a heavily laden goods train approaching Bundanoon station from the north suddenly derailed. The earliest record of a bushfire in the Bundanoon area was in December 1904, when several buildings were lost, including the wooden slab Anglican Church. Bundanoon's first fire engine was a 1924 Garford, a former New South Wales fire brigade vehicle. The bushfire that people remember most vividly was the one that started at Chatsbury outside Goulburn on the 5th of March 1965. Coal mining started in the Bundanoon area about 1867. Two major coal mines were operating in the area. The Ringwood Colliery, about three miles north of Bundanoon, and the Erith Coal Mine in the gullies about a mile south of Bundanoon. 11 men worked to produce over 3,000 tonnes of coal each year until 1904, when operations were temporarily suspended due to bushfires. The mine closed in 1912. By 1884, there were 40 men working in the mine, and coal production rose to more than 10,000 tonnes a year. The men worked for five shillings a day. Due to the poor quality of the coal and lack of sales, mining was suspended in 1887. Timber milling was one of the very earliest industries in the Bundanoon area. The first known commercial sawmills in the Bundanoon district were set up in the 1870s by the Amos brothers, Alexander and Robert. The most well-known timber mills in Bundanoon were established by Samuel Tooth and his sons Joseph and Edward. The Tooths established timber mills on land that they owned in the Bundanoon gullies and in the Penrose Road vicinity, close to the railway and the Erith Colliery. The Tooth brothers took five months to build the first stage of their tramway, but just after it was completed, a flood swept down the gully and washed the whole thing away. A natural pool existed on the creek 
in a bushy area off Constitution Hill, opposite the Riverview Road turnoff. This became a very popular spot and locals built a solid curved stone wall to retain more water in the pool. The Heyman and Lever families owned property fronting onto Paddy's River. This was in natural bushland and within easy walking distance of the town, so was thought to be an ideal place to create a recreation park. Dr. Harold Cuthbert was so outraged by the tragic drownings in local waterholes that he decided to organise the construction of a proper swimming pool where people could swim safely and be supervised. This led to the building of the Bundanoon Swimming Pool in 1960. From the mid-1920s, there was a golf craze in New South Wales and golfing holidays became popular. By 1935, Bundanoon had several golf links and dozens of guest houses. In the 1920s, there were four golf courses, one at either end of Erith Street and two at private guest houses. With the help of local business people and a catchy slogan, Bundanoon is Brigadoon, the first Highland Gathering was launched as part of the 1978 Baronia Festival. The idea was to raise funds for local charities and promote tourism in the Southern Highlands. The colours chosen for the Bundanoon district tartan tell the story of the village and the surrounding area. The green background represents the deep green valleys of the Bundanoon area. In October 1997, the Bundanoon Community Development Association held a village garden ramble to raise funds for town improvements. A number of Bundanoon residents opened their gardens to the public for a day. The Carnival of Scarecrows is held in conjunction with the annual garden ramble and was introduced for the first time in October 2000. Bundanoon celebrations included a parade through the village and special community activities.